Hey guys, I'm going to show you in this video how to embroider on toilet paper. Isn't this cute? Um, this is going to be a white elephant gift and I'm going to go ahead and stick some money in there so the person who's playing the game will think that it's a um, gag gift but there's going to be $25 in, in the little bottom here. So, Okay, so let me show you how to do this. It's really easy. So the first thing is the hooping, and to do the hooping, you wanna get your hoop um, ready. And I'm really, really lazy. So lazy that I don't even rehoop my stabilizer. This is Cutaway Stabilizer. And I basically just keep pinning new, like a new patch, I patch it. And that just uh, is a lot faster and um, more economical. So let me show you what that looks like when it's done. Okay, so to hoop this, I just basically attach the cutaway stabilizer. I do one pin, and then I'm gonna put my um, toilet paper on. And to do the toilet paper, um, you just take off the first sheet. I get rid of that first sheet. And then you're gonna want to take a couple, two squares, and fold it. So you've got a double layer there, okay? So this is what it looks like when you're finished hooping. You've got that double layer square on the hoop and another benefit of doing it with the patch stabilizer is you can see where, you see the little cut out there? So you can tell where your design's going to be on your, um, whether it's fabric or um, in this case, toilet paper. So that's an, another reason why I like to do it this way. It's just um, no more guesswork as to where you're gonna need to place your design. And now I'm just gonna attach this to um, my machine, the hoop to my machine. Okay, so now I'm ready to stitch out my design. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've got my silver thread in and I'm gonna go ahead and press the go button Right here and start. So I'm ready to change out the color and I know already from my test stitch that um, I want to cut out this jump stitch because if I don't when it does the lettering it kind of gets caught up in there so I'm just going to carefully cut that out like that and then I'm going to go ahead and change my color to the blue. Okay, so that part's done. Now, I could finish it. She had on this design um, two more snowflakes that go in the letters. Um, they're not as detailed as these, and so I'm just going to conserve the thread because, come on, this is toilet paper, and uh, not do that. And so I can remove this um, from under beneath, and um, then I can take out my jump stitches. So I'm going to do that and you slide it underneath there. Oh, another thing I like to do, there's a little bit of um, residue here. So what I like to do is just blow it, take a deep breath and blow it off of the machine. I like to do that with this hoop in place so that the debris can go on here rather than on my machine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I got it out from beneath the machine and now I can just go through and I can snip off my, carefully snip off my little jump um, stitches. You don't want to tear into the toilet paper. Okay, so I removed the jump stitches and you can see that if I turn it around, it's stitched so nicely. Well guys, there you have it. That's how easy it is to embroider on a roll of toilet paper. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please share, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. As always, I appreciate you watching my videos and happy holidays. Until next time, remember life after 40 is good. Take care.